We're playing the game. Myth or history? I'm going to keep score. We got a couple tiebreakers if necessary. We're going to start with David. All you got to do is tell me, is it a myth or is it actual history? All right. Facts are stranger than fictions. Let's see how you'd strange be, this does get. History today. is written by the victors. Remember? Oh, be, that's also true. You'd be interested. All right. So start with question one. Is it myth or history? Vikings were a unified and centralized society. That's a fact. Or that's is history. It's, is it fact? Well, or you, you, fact we, or well he's going to say history. You I'll take that. History, so yeah, it's, history. it's actually a myth. It's oh. false. Yes. Vikings Woo. were compromised of various tribes and clans, and their society was decentralized with chieftains leading smaller groups. I learned a thing today. I already knew that. I, let's let's take it now to Brian. Myth or history? The Trojan horse was a massive wooden statue used by the Greeks to infiltrate Troy. History. That is history. It's true. Yeah, I facts thought you were going to throw facts. a curveball in that one. Yeah, I was like, it's actually a small wooden horse. It sounds, right. right. it's a small wooden horse. <laughs> it sounds so like made up. It was a curveball. <laughs> it sounds so right. made up, yeah. This one's coming to Silent Destroyer. Myth or history. And be sure if you're joining us live, play in the comments. We want to know. We're testing you too. This is for the audience member. We got to see your score. Can you rack up the numbers? All right, going up to Silent Destroyer. Julius Caesar was born by Caesarean section. Bless you. Thank you. History. It's actually a myth. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is no historical... While people say often that it was so, there is no historical evidence to support the myth that Julius Caesar was born by Caesarean section. It's more likely that he was born via natural childbirth. I just think it's funny that people just see that it's a Caesarean... Like, it's spelled with Caesar and they're like, oh, they just <laughs> ripped... Caesar out of the mom's belly. Yeah, I, that actually killed folks back then. You know, I actually wasn't even thinking when I answered that because, like, it makes sense because it, they they it would have been impossible to have a C-section back then. Yeah, right. That, that like, makes a lot of sense. You yeah. would have all the dead people. Like, you, no you would have died. Yeah, you would have you would have just killed people and not right safely extract a, a baby out of a out of a fucking woman. All right, so. taking it to Ricky, myth or history. The story of Robin Hood is based on a real historical figure. Myth. He is correct. That is myth. Oof. While the legend of Robin Hood is widely known, there is no conclusive evidence of a real historical figure upon whom the character is based. Coming to Dougie, our history master. Oh, geez. Cleopatra died from the bite of an asp or snake. Oh, man, that's not my type of history I enjoy. Uh, <laughs> you need to look at the pyramids a little I'm bit more. More American history myself. Uh, you, know, you don't read the alien history? <laughs> I know aliens built the pyramids. <laughs> uh, I'll have to go with history. It is history. Woo! Oh, that's a complete Ooh. shot in the dark. All right. We're split almost 50 50 with David and Silent Destroyer with no points, but Brian, Ricky, and Dougie pulling ahead with one. All right. Starting again at the top. David, the concept of zero was invented by the ancient Greeks. Myth or history? I'll go history. It's actually a myth. Oh. I was fascinated by learning from Damn this it. one. The concept of zero was a placeholder and numerical digit, digit oriented in ancient India and was later adopted by civilizations such as Mayan and Arabs. The ancient Greeks did not have a symbol or designation for zero. Crazy. Even crazy. though they created democracy, society, and math. Wild. All that right. Mayans make sense, though. I mean, right. They have a calendar yeah. Cause they told predicted. us when the world was going to end. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> going to Brian I'm make a calendar. If there's no zero myth or history, <laughs> yeah. 
The Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre in 1911. I'm going to go with myth. That is incorrect. It's history. Oof. Actually, the person who, uh, fun fact, the person who stole the Mona Lisa had a list of demands, gave them all the demands, and then just let them scot, then just let them scot free. He did, didn't he get off by helicopter or yeah, something? Just like, all right. He, he, one of the things was like a helicopter. He got it and got to escape. Okay. Um, after Brian is silent destroyer. That's, that's where Hollywood get it. The helicopter hostage scene from in history. That's, that's history right. right there. That's right. Nobody has scored a point yet in this new round between David and Brian. Going to silent destroyer. The ancient Greek philosopher Socrates wrote down his teachings. Myth or history? History. That is a myth. It's actually known fact. Socrates never wrote down a single word. It was actually what? Plato who was taught by Socrates and wrote uh, all of Socrates' oh, writings. I guess you learn something new every day. I had no idea. So, and and it wasn't just Plato. It was other students that kept about that kept up on his dialogues, but it was predominantly Plato. The Vikings. Are, I'm learning a lot about Back through this history or myth. I, you know, doubling down on another Vikings one. Going to Ricky, this one keeping for? it fun. Okay. You're being tested, my friend. I'm Vikings wore helmets with horns to worship their gods. Myth or history? Did they wear helmets with horns? History. It's actually a myth. There is no evidence to support the idea that Vikings wore horned helmets as part of their religious practices or any of their uh, any of their clothing choices. Such depictions are largely artistic inventions. So they, so they didn't even drink out of the horns. I watched yeah. Vikings. They was drinking out of horns. <laughs> All right, this comes back to Dougie. Can Dougie break this three-way tie we got going? Marco Polo introduced pasta to Italy. Myth or history? I'm going to have to say myth. Dougie pulls ahead big oh with that God. one. Woo. Just two complete guesses. Yeah, Marco Not Polo. Not my history, but damn it, I'm lucky. <laughs> Marco Polo did travel to China and documented his experiences, but the idea that he introduced pasta to Italy is a myth. Pasta-like dishes were already present in Italy before Marco Polo's time. Well, I want to give at least Brian and Ricky a chance because we've only got so many. Ugh. I got to give you guys an opportunity to catch up to Doug and we could go for a three-way tiebreaker. All right, going to Brian. The Renaissance originated in Italy during the 14th century. Um, it sounds right around the time. Uh, I'm going to go history. Brian is correct. There you go. I'm sitting over there here nodding. I'm like, yes, Brian, say yes to that, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And going back to Ricky to see if he can make it back to this final round. The Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, 1776. Myth or history? Myth. It wasn't a 1764 or something like that. Wait, what is your answer? Myth no, or wait, history? Wait, 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 just what's your answer? Myth or history? <laughs> Don't elaborate. You might hurt re, 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 ask that for me. We wind the that. The Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, 1776. Hey, don't be out here Googling. No, 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 no. I'm writing down my head like so. I... Myth. You are correct. That's why I was like, don't elaborate. Yeah. Don't go no, further not. in your it's explanation. Before. Just say it's... it was wrong. While why the Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4th, 76, it actually was signed 
by most delegates August 2nd, 1776. So that means we have to go to a tiebreaker. I, I don't know. Do we make buzzer sounds with our mouths? Why don't you have us all answer and then tell us who's right? That's probably the better we way don't, to do there, it. There's no way but we can do a I don't want one buzzer. person's to uh, affect the others. Well, there's no way to there's have no way. three you people just have in whatever places. Answers, see who gets it right. Rapid fire. Okay. First, let's start with was, was uh, Napoleon actually short? Myth or history? Napoleon history. was short. I want to say history, but I'm pretty sure. I wanted to say history, history as well. Okay, we got three. So, what mystery. do we say when everybody loses? Because he actually I was know. of average height. They he say not- he was average, but yet he's depicted historically as very short. Because again, it's written so. Why, by the how victors. are you saying this like an expert? Like you know, and then <laughs> because just, like wait, historically, totally they say height, he though. is, but like. I've read many things that say he, he actually He gets wasn't. all the questions he doesn't know right. But then the <laughs> one he's able to eloquently explain as if he knew I mean, the it answer. Depends. Are you going off of what we were taught in history or what's, you know, like off of his biopsy Doug, when he what's died? What's the spirit you know? of this game we're playing Alex, right now? Is it? Did it ask you? says he did, was. I'm just saying. His no, it was a what is his height? It, uh, what is his actually recorded height? By the victors it, Doug. says he was. Okay. What's his recorded height in history? Three-way loss. Next question. (laughs) Jewish slaves built the pyramids. History. History. There go, Matt. Finally, we have a winner! I'm not the most religious person in the world, so... I thought they took them from Jerusalem or something, like, and brought them down to Egypt as slaves. That's why Moses had to go free his Jewish slaves. Again, history that was in, that was in the Bible. Bible. That was in right. the Old Testament. That's not canon. Jewish slaves didn't build the pyramids. This popular myth reportedly stems from comments made by former Israeli Prime Minister Menchum Begin when visiting Uh-oh. Egypt in 1777. Um, but it has come out through further architectural diggings that no Jews have built the pyramids because Jews didn't exist at the period when the pyramids were built. According to Mazar, uh, I don't know. Um, which is some <laughs> formal Jewish people. I, again. So it was that, exactly. it's true, people? They're not, you know, that, that is true. Cause that's the, they didn't start believing in God till the whole Moses thing actually happens. They're not Jewish then. So bam, bam. It uh, could have been the same people. They, they still they may not officially be. Jewish. History like, is a like tricky Gentiles, thing. Like, History is a Jesus is not a Christian. Jewish. Right. They weren't Gentiles, but they didn't call themselves Jews. Yet. So I'm going aliens. Aliens. they were still the same. I mean, too. Aliens definitely helped build the pyramids. I think a a giant didgeridoo in the sky just used vibrations to build it. All right. We've gone off the deep end. We've gone too late. This shit's crazy. (laughs) Thanks for watching this clip from the Rethink Tank Live. Join us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. streaming across the platforms on YouTube, Rumble, X, Twitch, Facebook, LinkedIn, and TikTok. We do our best to promote user engagement, and we want you involved. So be sure to bring your perspective live so we can get you in the dialogue. See you then.